Sorry about that card ran out and then also notice there's a tons of seed here. They must be they're so small that they must be getting out through that tiny little crack I would say. You know, either that or as I said they they, they run so well. So there's not, not much I can really do about that. There's a oh, good hundred and fifty seed there. <laughs> oh what the heck, you know. There's new seed is in approach and I'll be harvesting more seed in about three months' time anyway, so you know, you know. They grow so quickly in the wild, you know, two months and then, then they, now what have we got here? Oh, and I've noticed some, some stuff are falling out. That's Bernard here, that's the one. Oh, the rain's coming. So, we'll see how we go. I'll just put these back in the box. Make use of this again. I've got to be very quick now because the rain's coming in. But, uh, yeah, with the Rossi's Bernard seed. So, that's why I like vials because, you know, you don't have all this problem with things falling out and, you know, oh, come on, I've got to be quick. A good, good smattering of seed for a container, I reckon. What do you reckon, fellas? Do you reckon that's that's a good smattering for seed for a container? But anyway, we'll see. I've got to be quick. This is the, oh, yeah, I've got to be quick. If I'll see here. Oh, bugger, that raindrop. Can you see that raindrop there? It's stuck to the raindrop, so. Uh, oh, it's going grey. Wow, it's going grey. Fantastic already. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yes, the old glory hunt is not telling you everything, I reckon. <laughs> well, I think we knew that, didn't we? Yeah. It's only his own private little fiefdom. Okay, so there we go. Oh, I think that's enough for... Yeah, that's enough for one pot just to see before that blows away and we'll try this one and this one here now all around all over the place hot on the hot and the cold in the centre all over the place and the stuff stuck there so I'm gonna have to do the same trick fellas with the another trick and most of it's off even some even some of that I'm going to have to do with my fingers, sort or of thing like that. Okay, well I think we've done Ross's old banana seed. Uh, I'm sorry, I moved the camera too fast today, so we'll see how it goes. We're on fireworks, so I don't know what we're going to get by putting the camera in there. But uh, before it blows away, and we'll get uh, Ross's... So before it blows away, we'll get Ross's new banana seed that arrived the other day. And as you see, you know, things just keep falling out of these packets in there. It's also got some Arc 2 in there, but I've had to go with that, and I haven't had really much success with that. Haven't seen any germination of that, but uh, anyway, that's don't have the conditions, probably probably has to be in the fridge for about half of the year or something. But what am I going to do about these fellas? Try and scrape them up, or just leave them on the soil? Or, I know, I'll just try and dump them on a pot down there, how about that? See what happens. I've got some... Ah... Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Mount Bowl Jemmy in there, hopefully. So yeah, I'll put them in that one. Cause I'm not going to throw that pot. Uh, I'm not going to throw this pot out. Uh, it's a good, good little test pot. This one. I mean, it almost looks natural. Some of that stuff there I made up from last year. You can almost hardly tell the difference. Amazing. You can make the. <laughs> you can make Mother Nature in your own backyard or sort of thing. Okay. Over and out for this clip, I think.